What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Richie Ruckus. We're back here today. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. I got some midweek pickups here. This is starting to become a trend. This is three videos in a row that are going to be dedicated to Supreme. And I keep trying to, you know, defend myself that I'm not a hype beast. If you've been a viewer of this channel from the beginning, or have gone back and watched older videos of me. A big advocate for general release sneakers. Don't get me wrong, I, there's millions of limited sneakers that I love, there's hundreds of limited sneakers that I own. It's it's not all that I'm after though. Like, I have general release Nikes, general release you know, New Balances, general release Adidas, general release you know, Saucony. It's, by general release, I, I mean, what do we mean? A retro sneaker? That it has a, a wider release volume than, you know, than like a, another Jordan, then yeah, I mean, have to, but I don't wear like Son of Mars or, you know, Spizikes or, you know, just the, the, the millions of, you know, mock ups and mash ups that Jordan brand does. I, I know I don't wear that stuff. Do I love a Jordan 12? Yeah, who doesn't? Do I love a Jordan 11? Yeah, who doesn't? Is Jordan 1. And three, the two biggest sneaker models in my collection and favorites of mine, yes, without a doubt. But I don't just buy, you know, very rare and limited sneakers. I mean, if you've, like I said, if you've watched my videos, you know, you've seen that. But the one thing I have noticed is, and, you know, it's not that the person doesn't exist out there or the viewer base isn't out there, but no one wants to watch me or anybody else open a general release New Balance. They just don't. You know, with, with the way YouTube changed, I, I mean, I, I'm still a relatively small channel. By, by all means, I'm a very small channel. Uh, you know, I, I do feel my viewership and, you know, following growing. But at the same time, ever since they changed the, you know, the, the rules on YouTube and like when you first post a video, it's flagged as inappropriate for, you know, the first 50 to 60 views. You know, your view, your, your video doesn't get out there and seen as much because, you know, they're considering inappropriate. And then after, like, the first 60 views, it dies down. But I digress. I'm going to do a whole different video on that subject. But I got two pickups from Supreme that I'm going to jump into right now. But before we do that, you guys know the drill. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're feeling this video, make sure you give your boy a thumbs up and follow me on all social. More importantly... Turn on that notification bell because I do know that a lot of people that I talk to don't even know that I've uploaded a new video for the past couple days. So you just got to make sure if you guys want to get the content I'm putting out there that you guys got to have that bell on to make sure you're you know, part of the notification gang. That being said, let's jump into these pickups. Based off what I ordered, this box just seems a little much for me. But we'll do that box second. Let's do this box first. If memory serves me correctly and I understand exactly what I ordered and know what came in today, let's do this box first. These two pickups were from last Thursday's week three of the Supreme Fall Winter 2017 collection. And yeah, this is what I thought it was. We are what they thought we are. What, what, what we thought they were. Or who we thought they were. But they are who we thought they were. I love that they throw the Supreme bag, and no matter what you get, you're getting a Supreme bag, you're getting some Supreme stickers, but this is the pink Pledge of Allegiance Supreme snapback in the pink colorway, black brim, you know, it's got bald eagle on the front with Supreme embossed on its chest. I pledge allegiance to shit. United States of America has fire, right? But there you have it, guys. First pickup that I pledge allegiance to shit. Supreme snapback. Pink colorway. Supreme on top of the hole in the back of the snap hat. And the hole of the back of the snap back. That is a tongue twister. Anyway, there's the pink hat. I haven't been on the website since last night, but them hats still are available. I know the red colorway and black colorway sold out, but they got the pink, navy blue, Believe in orange and a hunter green still sitting on the website. The retail on them, I believe, was $38 plus shipping. So we're looking at $48 on that pickup. These two Supreme pickups were done at two totally different times last Thursday. I The next package 
is the package I, I was waiting to cop on there. And then I had a different red five panel in my car and it wasn't letting me check it out. So I didn't get that hat. But here's the next pickup and I hope they sent me the right package because what I ordered should be in a way smaller box than this. But I digress. This is it. All right, again, Mother Supreme bag. All right, let me get rid of this box. It is the Supreme Nike SB Air Force Two. No, Nelly, not Air Force One, but Air Force Two. Let's get a glimpse of these Warlocks. Ooh, see, I don't mean these are a lot cleaner. They are in that yellow colorway. I don't know what it is lately, but I'm like really becoming a fan of yellow sneakers. There's patent leather on these. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up as good, but I'm glad it's very subtle and it's only in like really one spot. I was kind of worried that uh, you know the patent leather was going to be throughout the whole sneaker. You know, other than a Jordan 11, I'm just really not you know big on patent leather sneakers. I I hope patent leather sneakers don't come back. I'm indifferent how I feel about the undefeated Air Max 97 due to the patent leather and the Gucci colorway. Back to these. I think these are straight fire. So dope. Air Force 2 is a very slept on sneaker. I'm sure Supreme is you know, doing a collab with them that the prices on some of these other Air Force 2s are going to go up. But I remember having a white and baby blue colorway. I think I was a senior in high school. They were white. The swoosh was baby blue. Baby blue accents throughout the sneaker. They were just so cool. You got the Supreme insole. You got the Nike Air Force 2. Nike SB Air Force 2. Accompanied by the Supreme logo. And then on the back of the left shoe, you got World. On the back of the, on the, back of the right shoe, you got Famous. And then Nike. This was the biggest thing. This was the biggest thing that I was excited for for the sneaker. The Nike SB Supreme hang tag. Very, very dope. But, you know, nothing out of the ordinary for Supreme. If you look at both insoles, you know, fully spelled Supreme across both insoles. They did send a yellow pair of laces if you do want to do a lace swap. And I just think a lot of the details on the sneaker are very subtle and very cool. I like how in the white part of the upper right here, you have Supreme in white. So clean, so dope. These really pop, man. I'm a huge fan of Air Force Ones. I'm a huge fan of Air Force Twos. And when I seen that the retail on these was going to be $98, I just you know, threw caution to the wind and said, screw it. Let me just get them. But I didn't really think it was going to be easy as a cop as it was. These sat for a little while last Thursday. I mean, I don't think they were sold out till like 1130. And, you know, I think people, the colorways were bold. You know, there was this yellow. There was like the gamma turquoise. Um, you know, like almost like this color. Um, then there was orange, again, which is on my shirt, and then brown. And so the colorways were kind of bold, and I know that, you know, just people, people were calling them bricks. This sneaker was getting, you know, hated on a lot up until its release, and then even some hate after it was released. People just think Supreme, Hype Beast, and, you know, just go along with that line. And, you know, Nike.com is doing a, a wider release of the sneaker, and I, I'm interested to see how it fares on there, because... You know, like with everything, when these sold out, everybody bashed them. And I want to see how fast they sell out on Nike.com because I, I am 100% convinced that they will sell out in every colorway on Nike. But I just want to see if it takes a little bit longer than usual because this isn't like that big of a fan favorite model by Nike. And, you know, there isn't a, a particular Air Force 2 that garners, you know, a lot of attention and a lot of hype, you know, other than the Supreme collab. I just think it's a really dope model. I think the quality on the sneaker is really good. The leather is what's to be expected of Nike as of late. And I, I just, I was really worried about how much patent leather was going to be on the sneaker and how, you know, poignant it was going to be. And like I said, I mean, the, the camera's probably not going to pick it up. But it's just around the swoosh right here is the only patent leather. So I was happy with that. I was happy. I'm happy with the quality of the sneaker. And I'm happy with the color in person. I just... With the Richie Ruckus, you know, stuff that's out there, the hats and, like, the Wu-Tang shirts, yellow is just a good compliment. You know, black Richie Ruckus dad hat with the Wu symbol, all black t-shirt, blacked out jeans, and then these. Can't go wrong with that fit. 
Next week, I have the best video I'm, I've ever done to date will be released. And I think it's going to be a huge, huge, you know, your favorite amongst viewers. And I, I just think it's going to be a really dope video. And, you know, Niasia has the wheels turning on this concept of this video we're going to do next week. And, you know, I'm just trying to get out of the box of just doing a regular unboxing. You know what I mean? I'm trying to just think beyond that. And I just think this concept in this video we got you know, cooking up for you guys next week. It's just going to be, you know, curtains. I think it's going to be a really, really cool video. I guess that's it. I have taken up enough of your time for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with an unboxing from Jordan. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. Adios, muchachos. Sayonara. Hasta luego. Lego. Richie Ruckus,